Hello traders, hello traders. The title of the video is How to play Fibonacci retracement game like a pro. You want to watch this video? You want to watch it in full? Take in my word for it. Don't watch this video half because you miss out. You want to watch it in full. If you do not have time to watch it in full, don't start watching it. This is the warning, very, very important. And at the end of the tutorial, you thank me for telling you that so you do not miss that opportunity. How to play Fibonacci retracement game like a pro? So I've been in the financial market for some time now. I keep my eyes open, all right? And my obsession to understand the market, to understand what is happening, what is working, all right, allows me, okay, to understand many things. So on this chart, a lot of traders will look at this chart, what do you see? Okay, we can draw a trend line, we can draw a channel, we can do all kind of things, but we can play a game using Fibonacci retracement. And the professional are playing that game right here, and they know exactly what I'm about to talk about. They say, Joe, don't tell them. And I say, well, uh, it's not a confidential material, so we can talk about it in a public place, all right? So the financial instrument that we are looking at is uh, about laboratories belonging to the healthcare sector, Epic, Alpha, Bravo, Tango, among the monthly charts. If you select July, you are placing vertical line, this is a July 2000, not 2000, July 1998, July 19, correction, July 1988, all right, July 1988, that's the starting point. If you, you see the price went up from here, all the way up here. So it went up from point A to point B, and then it's pulling back to the moving average 50, all right? That's what's happening all, most of the time. Okay, moving at 50 right there. What we do, we measure the fib we use the Fibonacci retracement to see how much people have, how much profit people has taken before it start going up again. So take my word for it because it's not very clear. Take my word for it. It's, uh, it went down to the fifty percent Fibonacci retracement of this move that has started in July nineteen eighty eight up to okay. Uh, December 1991, so it's 30, uh, 50% Fibonacci retracement. Pay attention, all right? Now 50% retracement. So prime went up from A to B and then pulled back. Start going up, all right? So it's start going up, now from here. So I place it again. So anytime the price goes up from A to B, I'm putting out a new A. So my new point A is this one here. Are you with me? So I'm not leaving it here and standing it. I'm just bringing it here. Anytime a common sector is broken, after pulling back, I have my new point A. Apply Fibonacci retracement to that. As the common sector line is broken, you see, that's how we know that it's pulling back. This common sector line that we draw along this move up. If it's broken, it start coming down. We can apply Fibonacci retracement. Where is it coming down? Look at that. Look at this. Are you with me? How can I say to you that you must watch this video in full? You see, that's the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. It deep a little bit below it, coming near the 61.8% level. But you can see that the closing price is at a 50% level. So first time it went up, remember, July 1988, all right, to December 1991, it pulled back to 50% Fibonacci retracement level. Now, Talking about how to play Fibonacci retracement game like a pro, especially on a monthly chart, pull about 50% level. So here are the common set line right there. It's broken. Trader who are playing the game of the Fibonacci retracement will say there is a high chance, talking about fractal pattern, predictive fractal pattern, that we may have also another 50% Fibonacci retracement level. So, price coming down, the 38.2% level, 
or if it did below 38.2% level, there will be more sellers trying to bring it down to the 50% level because of what has happened before, it's likely to happen again. There is nothing new upon this earth. And it's top at 50% level. Did you see that? So, will you agree with me for the first time in your life, after disagreeing with me on every of my channel, will you agree with me for the first time in your life, that those who, who, who bought it at 50% level, most of them are still buying here again at 50% level. Will you agree with me that there is an expectation that they probably pull back again to the 50% level as this common sector is broken here? Maybe not. Okay. Let me try to convince you a little bit more. So after that, after this pullback here, you can see that the price stuck in a kind of a consolidation here. So this is not a new move up as such, but it's just a lot of a consolidation. I'm glad that we are analyzing it today. Because if you were there at that point in time, it's quite challenging. If you don't spot it quickly, that is a kind of a triangle. By the way, if you want to learn a master triangle chart pattern like never seen before, well, I go to 24 Stock Trader YouTube channel. I mean it. I mean it. Oh. So, now again, stay with me, please. Now it's like going out for a new point A. So we have, so here, well, point A to point B, pull back to 50% level. Point A to point B, you pull back to 50%, people don't use retracement level. All right, you with me? Now again, it's like going up after all the blah, 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 the triangle here. It's like finally going up from here. Where are we are here? From here, it's like going up. You see, you pull back a bit here though. So if you were there, you would be thinking it's going to go to 50% level. But it didn't reach the 50% level here. It just continued. It went back a bit. Touched the moving average. Usually, let me say this carefully. Usually, near the moving average 50. That's why it's heading. Near, near the moving average 50. All right? but, so if you pull back to 20, sometimes it will find a support and go back. From here, point A to point B. Yes or no? Remember what we are doing here. We are talking about playing the game of Fibonacci retracement. Not like a stupid trader. Not like a naive trader. Not like a, a gambler. I will explain that in a minute, okay? So here it is again, from A to B. And now what, what will be our expectation again? When it went up before, it come down, it found a support of 50% level. It did the same thing second, second time here, 50% level. Remember, anytime you are looking at a financial institution, you are talking about laboratory. There are traders that are trading this. Some traders only trade, okay, a basket of stock. <laughs> and they follow those stock. There are analysts following even stock. They are not trading, they analyze stock, but they monitor those stock carefully. There are investors that are investing in a basket of stock so they know the history of the company the directors and the blah 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 and they are flowing with it over the year some of them buy and hold and in dividend over the year a long time so when we are talking about something that has happened before in the past is likely to happen again it's just a habit of the majority or the dominant part of those that are trading or investing in that financial instrument. So, this exercise of playing the game of the Fibonacci investment is uh, to rely on okay a, the dominant character of those that are trading okay the financial instrument. We want to go into their DNA to see what they are trying to do, what type of trader they are. They are buying all the time in this particular stock at 50% financial interest level. So as soon as this common state line is broken, here we again, we that are playing the game on the Fibonacci investment in conjunction with what we call predictive market, a predictive fractal pattern, predictive fractal pattern at dayprotrader.com, check it out. Here it is, so coming down, what is the expectation? 50%. So 
Well, if you come near 38.2 percent level, most of them, because what is happening? Do you understand this? I talk about it. A two for stock trader YouTube channel is that the market orders behave like a magnet. The market makers must fill orders. So, the people that are buying the stock are, are often buying it at a 50% level if it goes out from A to B for a while, for a few years. See here, this is not for easy. Yeah, this is a normal 1993 all the way okay, to 1998. Right? Here again, here, look, from 2011. Uh, he went up, okay, up to 2015, so four years. So it looks to me these people are, are following the American uh, presidential election every four years, every four years. All right. Here it is. Do you see this here? Okay. This is a new move again here. Or some may say here. 2016, a new president came in, yes or no? Mr. Trump, yes or no? And they're playing the same thing again. And look, after the common sector is broken, what did they bring it? 50% level. Look at that, 50% on the dot. Yeah. So what's happening? There is a pattern. So we are combining Fibonacci retreat with a specific pattern that we have detected. Now, sometimes when I say to traders that... Uh, I'm not an ordinary trader. Some traders laugh. They say, George, don't make me laugh. <laughs> so, earlier with traders will tell you at the 24 Elliott Waves YouTube channel that we use the structure of uh, the second Elliott Wave to predict the corrective first. But in fact, there is a principle that you want to understand. If something happened for the first time, we need to take note. That thing that happened in the first time can control what is happening. Let me explain this to you. If you are dealing with something that is very, very complex, all right, how do you handle it? If you can manage to find out how it started, you can unravel the complexity completely. So going to the beginning and finding out what is happening at the starting point is so important. That's why we use the structure of the first and the second wave to predict right, what the whole area wave cycle. The beginning will determine the end. So the same thing we are doing here. We see that this stock at the beginning, because on this session here it's not easy to show you that the 50% retracement, that's why I use from here, because I don't want to speculate, because it's not very clear to me. If I'm saying 50%, it will be speculation. So this one was clear to me on TC2000, I say 50%. So that's the first one I can see. I can work with that. I can play the game of the Fibonacci retracement with that. Behold, second time again, 50%. So now here we, here we are now. Here yeah, this one is broken, where is this stock? 50%. Am I lying? The chart is no lie. I'm just reading it to you. 50%. But I'm not just playing the game on the Fibonacci retracement. Anyhow, I understand what I'm doing even more. So what can we tell traders at this junction? It looks to me these people are playing with the, uh, the American presidential election cycle every four years. Stop pull back to 50%. People not just touch my level. So, but, okay. So we can say, we can expect, what? Right? No guarantee. <laughs> we can expect that if the common sector line is not broken, you see, it's not broken yet, so you shouldn't be selling it. You see how they are buying on the edge of the common sector line? Huh? It's not broken yet. So leave it alone. If it's broken one time, I can really, it, is, it came and closed on the back of the month, which I closed below this trend. And we say, Oh, it has a high time to come down now. So, what do we do? We come and play the same game again. We apply Fibonacci retracement from A to B. All right, what's going on here? Okay, are you getting the message? 
Now, this, this video can be a little bit exciting to new traders, but I want to give you a small warning is that uh, don't get carried away, or right, very important, don't get carried away. You're not going to master it one day. Probably you'll come back and mark this video down. <laughs> if you are a new trader, I say, George, I went to the three minute time frame and I tried it and it didn't work. Therefore, I'll come and mark the video down. We are still friends, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Maybe a few years down the line, you come back and remove that dislike from, <laughs> from the video. I see traders removing dislike sometimes. Oh, I, <laughs> I see it. Okay. So now that it's going up, what's going on with my chat now? I want to finish this discussion now. So suppose uh, I'm over now. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Something there was there before. Where are we? Somewhere there. So, it's, yeah, yeah, right there, right there, okay. So, suppose, okay, so the common certain line is not yet broken, yes or no, everybody agree, so don't go and start playing that game straight away, because the common certain line should be broken first. So when it's broken somewhere up or somewhere there, we'll apply the Fibonacci retracement, and we will draw a line at the 50 percent level if you start coming down you will try to to come to the 38.2 percent level there will be some bias there some people will push it down to the 50 percent level there will be bias there but it doesn't mean that every time they try to touch the 50 percent people actually express my level one should just buy it some people are doing that some investors who do not know market timing are doing that. But we don't want traders to trade that way. Like here, you reach the 50% level, implement a different time frame trading method. Or watch the video that I titled How to Use a Practical Fibonacci Retracement Tips. Should I say again? How to use practical Fibonacci retracement tips at day pro trader, so you may know exactly what to do when it reaches the fifty percent level. Ah, again, this is what I say to traders. I am not an ordinary trader, so ordinary traders will say he will keep doing that forever, but no, he will not. The price does not go up forever. So we, earlier we trader, will come where we say one, two, three, four, five. And then again, we'll use the structure of the first and the second way to predict the multi way and a corrective way. So it's not going to do, keep doing it like some investor will keep doing it, and then one time they will give back, they will give back all their profit. To play the game of Fibonacci retracement like a pro, one must use the Fibonacci retracement with a, a predictive factor. The predictive fractal pattern, as if I want to put it simple to you, is like a characteristic or a DNA of a financial instrument. There are many forms for the predictive fractal pattern. In this instance, to avoid that the video is too long, all I was using for this talk is that this talk quite often is finding support at a 50% Fibonacci refreshment level anytime it goes up for four years. So now this move that started somewhere in 2016, 2020, next year, we liberate this common center line and we will repeat again what has happened before. The predictive fractal pattern, all right, trading method is the most powerful market forecast trading tool out there. I've been talking about this for some time and I know that there are some traders that uh, catching up with me. I know that this is a serious matter. As you can see again in this case, there is a pattern that is established. It's like you go to a family, everybody got uh, a very large ears. So from the grandfather, everybody got large ears. It's a pattern. So there is a high chance that if yourself you have a large ear, like myself, all right, your children are likely to have large ears. This is how the predictive pattern functions. Sometimes, sometimes you may see the predictive factor pattern on the same time frame. So here, I did not change time frame. It's just doing it here. You see, it's just doing it on this monthly chart. 
And now I'm using a characteristic, a pattern that is established, something that I have observed, just keeping my eyes open. What has happened before? What has happened at the beginning? With that alone, Together with my Fibonacci retrieval, you can see that you could make a rendition and you can forecast what is likely to take place at this junction. That every four years, there's a high chance that they may start coming out again. But doesn't mean that all the time it will stop at 50% level. All we know is that there's a high chance that it will stop at 50% level and there will be some people trying to buy it. But just remember that the price does not go up forever. How do you buy it? Timing the market correctly. Watch the video that I title How to Use Practical Fibonacci Retracement Tips. Let me show you something. Maybe I'll see a good example before we wrap. Now you understand why I say to you that uh, it is a mistake that you watch this video halfway. Alright, so now I'm on the hourly time frame. Alright, I'm on the hourly time frame. We want to check what's going on in the hourly time frame now, okay? Alright, we want to check. Just check, all right? So, price went down from here. So, I'm not on the hourly time frame, okay? Let's put it all the way here, okay? So, it went down from point A to point B, yes or no, okay? It start pulling back. Look, where did it stop? That's the 50. It came near the 50% level on the hourly time frame. Near. It didn't touch it. We need to be honest here. Almost. Almost, yes or no? All right, you see that? Did you see that? Now, you see that it's also near the moving at 50, not 20. Here you see this one, it's near 20. So I'm not interested very much in those that are stopping near 20. So you say, oh, moving averages are useless. They are not. I see near 50. I see a 50% reward, moving average 50 near that. Okay, do you see that? Watch this one. So. We select a new point A. Our new point A is this one here. All right. So we will be. Hold on, please. Because this one come near the moving fifty, you can see that uh, it didn't come. The, 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 the fifty percent Fibonacci resistance is here, but it stopped at thirty eight point two percent level. Well, it didn't. So. The first support above the 50 percent is 38.2 percent of so which means if the common central line is broken above the 38.2 percent level, here it is going up. So, therefore, it didn't touch the 50 percent level. All right, okay. But our expectation was that it may touch the 50 percent Fibonacci refreshment level, yes or no? All right, so let's put it here for instance. So it went up again from here, all the way up here. It is pulling back. So as the common strategy line is broken on the hourly time frame, we start saying, all right, first support level, 38.2% level. There will be some buy here. That's the tail there on the hourly time frame. Our expectation is fulfilled again. So it deep a little bit below the 50% Fibonacci first level. So the first time we observe it here, it went up from here to here. It came near the 50% level. The second time, it didn't come near it. It pulled back only, it stopped at 38.2% level. Our new point A to point B, now it come back again to 50% Fibonacci retracement level right there. Let's try to be a little bit, a little bit with the information. So let's let's take it from here. All right, let's take it from here. So choo 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 choo. All right, and bring it all the way to the top. All right, so here, boop, 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 up on the hourly time frame. Now you see it crashed through the fifty percent level. That's what we are saying to you that the price does not redo. It's not doing the same thing all the time. You can see it's ten around at thirty eight point two percent level. But you see the pattern that we are seeing on the monthly chart is copying itself and repeating itself on the hourly time frame also. It went up fifty percent. This time did it here, it did it near 50%. So, if again you apply all of from here all the way up here, now 50%, you did below it now. Here we are. This is what we are talking about how to play Fibonacci retracement game like a pro. 
use it in conjunction with the characteristic of the financial instrument that you are trading, the gene of the financial instrument that you are trading, or right, the predictive factor pattern, combine the Fibonacci refreshment with the predictive factor pattern. What we are discussing today is what we call advanced trading. And you need to train yourself slowly but gradually, especially if you are a new trainer applying this. Know that this is not for children, but you want to work on it gradually, gradually, even discover things that I haven't talked about before. Alright? This is it. So this will conclude our discussion today about how to play Fibonacci retracement game like a pro. The financial instrument that we were analyzing today is Abbott Laboratory Epic ABT Alpha Bravo Tango. In this tutorial, we were combining the Fibonacci retracement with the predictive factor pattern to make excellent okay a trading decision all in all if we identify a trading setup at a specific fibonacci refreshment level we must apply a top-down trading method to trade it watch the video that i recorded before that is titled how to use a practical fibonacci refreshment tips if you have any question suggestion lament blah 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 feel free to put in the comment section i always read the comment You'll be surprised, I'll read them all, alright? And in due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question, alright? If you say, George, you have done a very good job, this video has been useful to me, to me. let me know, give us the thumbs up. If you say, George, you try your best for 26 minutes, well, it's the same story, you need to improve, or right, mark the video down, if you think that George, this is an amazing tutorial, feel free to share it on Twitter, uh, Facebook, uh, Tumblr, scoop it, okay, on the social media, all right? Subscribe to our YouTube channel, our YouTube channel is The Pro Traders. Be sure to click on the notification bell, so anytime we publish a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. Stay tuned. More amazing tutorials are coming soon. To learn more about predictive factor pattern and Fibonacci retracement, go to www.deprotraders.com. Until the next time, enjoy your stuff and be very, very happy. Happy to to you all and I speak to you soon. Thank you for watching. And I mean it. Thank you very much.